Now Central Oregon's local alert weather with Katie Suniga. How about a look off the Outback lift line? And we're taking a look at this because we can see a pretty good view of the sky from this camera. We have partly to maybe even mostly cloudy now as we have that chance for showers that we were looking at yesterday that have actually moved through the region. So a darker look off the Aubrey Butte camera, although I haven't captured any showers on here. We have seen some on our satellite and radar image. A gorgeous look off Black Butte. Of course, the mountains are beautiful, but again, we're looking at the sky. We're watching to see the changes, seeing if we can see any showers moving through, and especially paying attention to whether we're clearing up or getting a bit more cloudy. And in this case, we have become more cloudy. We started the afternoon with just some partly cloudy skies, but as this rain has come through, we've turned to mostly cloudy with those showers moving through. Not expecting them to last too long. We'll look at that on your future track. You'll see when and where those showers should be finishing up for us. State temperatures ranging from those upper 60s out in Baker City to 81 right now in the Dells. We did make it into the 70s here. The showers coming through definitely kept us a bit on the cooler side, so we didn't really quite see any of us making it up to 80 on our map there within the region. We still have a chance if those showers clear up enough, but really we're looking at being probably about as warm as warm as we're going to get for the day. Here's what's happening in our upper levels. You see this ridge right here. This starts to flatten, move just a bit for us as we go into Wednesday. So you'll notice tomorrow we stay on the warmer side. That continues again into Thursday. So this high pressure is being very persistent. It's not quite letting the low pressure or that trough come in just yet, but we know it is on the way. We see it here on your satellite and radar image. Here's what I was talking about. You saw those showers moving through until we get to about 11 o'clock. From this point on, we're pretty much looking at just those clouds coming and going. In fact, you can see here we're through Wednesday morning, Wednesday afternoon, and we're just not seeing any activity happening. Things are a bit clear for us Wednesday night, tomorrow night around 9 o'clock, but we do not stay that way, obviously, as we're talking about showers this weekend. It's not until we get later in the afternoon Thursday. You can see a few clouds and maybe even the beginning of that chance for the showers Thursday, Friday, and then Saturday. That's the day I'm really keeping my eye on because we have the best chance for showers and we now are seeing another a chance for some additional thunderstorms like we saw last weekend. Here are the current temperatures across the region. Warmest in the Warm Springs area at 77, just like we talked about. Not quite into the 80s, but we have several additional chances. Here's where our temperature profile looks like overnight. As you can see, a slow and steady drop to our lows, which takes us in the mid 40s to low 50s. Well above average, we should be about 42 in Redmond. Tomorrow's highs, very similar to today, mostly in the 70s, but we continue the chance for the 80s Thursday and Friday. Saturday, we do start to cool a little, and then by the time we get to the start of next week, we could be upper 60s and mostly sunny.